Okay, welcome back, and uh, we're now into the final part of the 1st Infantry Division, or the 1st British Infantry Division, rather, um, and it's the Divisional Artillery. Uh, now, uh, these differ slightly from the French uh, in, in the fact that uh, the French tend to have a battery of cannon attached to each brigade, uh, where the British tended to uh, have a sort of a, a, a chunk divisional artillery where it has two batteries uh, of artillery um, in their own little brigade um, so uh, within this sort of a unit I not only did the cannons um, but I also did the commanding officers of each battalion as well as separate figures um, and of course uh, we'll start off with the brigade commander uh, who is this chap and uh, we'll give you his details so this guy is uh, Lieutenant Colonel S. G. Eddy uh, of the uh, First British Infantry Division's Divisional Artillery, and this is one of the Perry's figures from the Perry's uh, Mounted Artillery Officers Pack, and uh, yeah, pretty pretty chuffed with how he turned out actually. Again, a, a pretty simplistic uh, base, and uh, a pretty pretty simple figure really. Just kind of looking for a telescope really. So that is the divisional, uh, the brigade commander. Uh, then we'll go into the first battery, uh, which is let's give you the details on these boys. So this battery is led is commanded by Captain Sanderton, and we'll give you the blurb on them. Uh, they are the um, the divisional artillery first battery Royal Foot Artillery, uh, led by obviously Captain C F Sandham. And we'll, these are Perry's guns. Uh, you can see that, again, for some reason, I've decided to go for the two cannons rather than one cannon and one howitzer. Um, these are nine pounders. Uh, this is the stand that has the um, the extra officer figure on. I did actually boost the boost the crews up um, using. Uh, did I boost the crews up? Uh, yes, I did. One, two. He's, yeah, you've got an extra uh, uh, an extra. Uh, guy on foot there um, and also uh, yes I remember what I did now I think I brought the uh, the foundry uh, British artillery the, the foundry crew uh, which comes with uh, uh, six figures so I just split them up between the two guns uh, and then we have another uh, another officer there that I think he's front rank uh, that I picked up separately the, the guy looking through the, ter the periscope or telescope rather and you can see that the base is kind of like uh, they've stuck the cannon behind a bam and then this uh, particular cannon is ready to fire. So that is the first battery, or the first gun and the first battery. And then we have the second gun and the first battery. And again, a couple of extra figures on there, uh, denoting the uh, battery NCO as well as the uh, full crew. And uh, yeah, again, uh, these guys got a, tree, a little tree on their base, and uh, this kind of uh, slightly sort of uh, slanted over from perhaps from like a uh, the disturbed ground has kind of slightly uprooted it and again it's behind that same berm uh, and uh, yeah it's a pretty shocking how the, the train came out for these guys actually um, and that's the uh, the first uh, battery the Royal Foot Artillery now the second battery attached to the Divisional Artillery uh, is actually uh, King's German Legion and they are led by a Major Coolman uh, of the uh, KGL Horse Artillery. Uh, and uh, let's get, show you the figure that I've got for uh, Major Coolman. Now this guy is again, I believe, from the um, Perry's uh, artillery, Mounted Artillery Officers Pack. Very cool. It's, it's kind of a sort of. Wondering what I was going to do with it, with the sort of the horse artillery figure originally when I first picked up the, the pack, but uh, seeing that these guys actually had horse artillery in, within the divisional artillery, I thought that, that was just absolutely perfect. Uh, so I decided to model uh, Major Coleman, and there he is uh, on a nice chestnut horse. So that is the commanding officer. And now I'll just do a quick overlook of the battery. So these guys, like I say, are King's German artillery. Um, horse artillery and they're actually the first horse artillery I've, I've done because I haven't done any British horse artillery up to date up to that particular point 
Uh, we have a front rank uh, horse artillery officer there who just turned up perfect. Uh, I actually added him uh, later than I actually finished the original unit. Uh, I think he fits on there perfect. And again, I believe um, I had a, a foundry crew uh, for these boys, um, which accounted for the extra figures. Um, uh, one's Paris and one's uh, foundry. In a similar sort of style as the uh, foot artillery, actually. So here's the second battery. And you can see that this one is actually uh, uh, getting ready to um, be loaded. We have the NCO there and the two um, main crew members of the gun. The match guy and the uh, fuse guy. And then we have the loader or the sponger's assistant and the, uh, the actual sp uh, sponger himself uh, there with ready to load the round. And again, a pretty simplistic base, uh, but it turned out uh, looking pretty cool. So that is uh, the end of this little overview, close-in overview. Uh, and uh, I'll save uh, a picture of them all being lined up together uh, for uh, when I do the table update. Um, maybe in a, sort of a week or two. A week or two. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, at this particular point, I'd just like to say uh, a massive thank you to... Uh, uh, an un humanly unnatural amount of subscribers I've had um, over the last uh, month. I think I've had like practically 20 subscribers, um, which is like a, a real, real surprise. And, and I'm really, I'm really uh, thankful to everyone who has not only uh, decided to stay subscribed to me, but also uh, new subscribers. Because, um, you know, I mean, I, I suppose at the end of the day, um, it's it's a it's a little sort of an indication that people are actually uh you know um if not 100 percent liking at least uh semi enjoying uh watching my videos so uh big thank you to all, you all and um that's the end of the video and i hope ca i hope to catch you uh, in, in maybe a week or so's time when i uh finally get round to cutting all these guys into the other room and i put them up on the table for a um a quick sort of uh well full divisional uh, set up and a uh, little quick f uh, overfly uh, of, of just going through uh, the particular units again. Uh, so until then, I uh, hope you're all uh, staying safe out there. I actually had my um, my first uh, vaccine shot today. Uh, so that's, uh, you know, I'm very happy about that. Um, I've literally, um, because I am, um, although I'm not officially classed as vulnerable, uh, I have got um, a lot of internal uh, organs that are damaged from when I had chemotherapy when I was when I was younger in the 80s. Um, so I've got like you know scars on my heart, scars on my lungs. My kidneys are completely screwed. Um, and uh, yeah, if I was to catch this uh, this uh, uh, disease, um, it you know um, there's you know I may not particularly be in, in a sort of high enough class to, to actually perhaps die from it but um, it really wouldn't have surprised me if uh, well I, I definitely 100% would have been hospitalized and uh, who knows if I would have had to actually uh, go into uh, intensive care so I'm just glad that you know I've I've, uh, I've bitten the bullet I've stayed inside um, I've, I've literally uh, I think I've been out uh, in this entire year um, I've been out uh, less than uh, 15 times uh, and four of those have been uh, medical related um, and even when I did go out um, it was either to uh, somebody within my bubble or um, the very rare occasion that I did actually have to go to a shop to uh, to get something essential um, so yeah uh, thank you again and uh, we'll catch you all in the next one catch you all later bye bye